In one year, we successfully removed 3.3 tons of illicit drugs from circulation in Anambra State, but this success cannot be sustained with the support and cooperation of community leaders and stakeholders. This is according to the State Commander of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and the LEA Anambra State Commands, Mr. Daniel Unishi, while calling for the cooperation of community leaders and the menace of trafficking in illicit drugs in the state. Correspondent David Abokwasali completes the report. Mr. Onichi, who was speaking when he led a delegation of the management staff of the command to pay a court visit to the traditional rule of Oka, Obi Gibson Wosu, asked community, religious, political and opinion leaders not to see illicit drugs trafficking as a business but as a crime that destroys communities and societies. He emphasized that all hands must be on deck to ensure that the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes, UNODC's prediction that 20 million Nigerians who become chronic drug users by 2030 does not come to pass. The NDLA boss reassured of the commitment of the agency under its chairman and chief executive, retired Brigadier General Buba Marwa, to stifle the supply of dangerous drugs such as crystal methamphetamine across the country. And we will see drugs not as a business. That's what I encourage people don't see drugs as a business. See drugs as a crime, as a destroyer. So by the time you see drug as a destroyer, as a crime, then all of us have to come together and make sure that nobody saves drugs in the community. Responding, Obi wants to pledge the support of the community to help the agency eradicate illicit drug abuse and peddling from the capital city and express worry that if treated with kid gloves, it will contribute to the festering of other forms of crimes in the city. <laughs> On their part, the traditional Prime Minister of Oka, Chief Benjamin Okoye, and the youth leader of the community, Mr. K. Kwezenwa, commended the NDLA for their efforts so far in taking illicit drugs out of circulation in the state and stated that the fight against drug trafficking in the capital city must be innovative and cooperative given the diverse and dynamic population makeup of the city. Exchange of souvenirs between the Oka monarch, Obimosu, and the NDLA boss, Mr. Onichi, were the high points of the visit with by members of the Ezozo in Council, kingmakers of the community, and Ndeada Ezozo from the Ezozo Palace in Oka. I am David Owasi reporting for BS News.